Hey everybody, this is James from All Outdoors, and today we're going to be having a look at the Walther PDP F Series, a polymer framed double stack 9mm pistol designed for red dots and with smaller hands in mind. And for the purposes of this particular review, we're going to run the pistol as it comes out of the box. This is the Walther PDP F series. It is a compact pistol that comes with either a 3.5 or 4 inch barrel, but the PDP can take longer and shorter slides and grip modules for those who like to tinker. This particular pistol is a 4 inch model. The gun ships with two 15 round steel magazines, but this gun will also take 18 round uh, magazines that will fit in a full size standard PDP. Walther claims that this particular model has a reduced spring weight on the slide and a thinner grip circumference for shooters with small hands. And I can't attest to it having a lighter slide, but these serrations help. The PDP is drilled for an optics plate, but there is none included in the box. However, you can get one from Walther using a voucher that does come in box. Otherwise, we just have a set of three dot iron sights. We also have a button magazine release that is reversible to either side, and the slide stop is also ambidextrous. Straight out of the box, one thing that sets the PDP apart is the grip. Even with my meteor hands, I really appreciate the cup of the grip that naturally wants to anchor uh, my particular grip through my pinky. But beyond that, that trigger is the real attention getter. It breaks cleanly at 4 pounds, 6 ounces, and the return spring is strong. When you let off that trigger, it goes right to reset. No mush whatsoever. The PDP's takedown is rather Glock-like. First you dry fire the pistol, and then you draw the slide rearward just a touch, drop the takedown tab, and the slide will come right off. And the PDP is a typical locked breech striker fire design. It has a dual recoil spring and a plastic guide rod if you care. But with those details out of the way, let's get back to shooting. Alright, we're a lot closer. We're at about five yards now. And we're going to go ahead and just go a little bit back and forth between these two targets. We have some uh, Remington HTP hollow points. We'll see how they feed them. So, let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm going to go for the black target here. Headshots over there. We'll see what happens. No, it was out. All right, we have a clean bullseye target. Well, two of those and uh, one torso right there, about 10 yards. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go with the Walther PDPF series. I have it loaded with some CCI Blazer 150 grain for metal jacket. Let's uh, go ahead and give it a go.
Okay, gun didn't lock open, but I'm pretty sure it's just my meaty hands. Let's have a look. All right, again, we're at 10 yards. We have one, two, three, four, five. That was the flyer, and I did pull the trigger a little bit hard on that one. Uh, of course, this one here, I don't know what happened here. One, two, three, four, five. I think I might have actually went over the side of the target with this one, so. Let's, uh, let's just ignore that one. Let's look at this one, this is pretty good. So, overall, very good trigger on this gun, but perhaps maybe a little too light for me. But uh, this guy can be a real attack driver. Now this is an initial first shots review, and I'll be using the PVP for some time, testing some different things like ammunition, and yes, red dots too. But with that said, I ran 250 rounds through this one in one go, mostly 115 grain full metal jacket and 124 grain hollow points like those Remington HTPs. Um, it ran perfectly, and I was able to make good hits out to 30 yards, as you saw in my opening shots. Even without a red dot, I was able to shoot fairly fast thanks to that trigger. Recoil was negligible, and the only real issue I had was my meaty hands uh, holding over the slide stop so the gun didn't always lock open on some of those drills. Maybe a standard PDP would be more of my liking personally, but even so, the F series is great, even in my hands. Thank you for watching. So much for that.